In the early days of rock and roll, the only way for performers to hear themselves on stage was either through their own equipment or through speakers pointed at the audience. As concert venues got bigger and amplifiers got louder, performers needed something in order to hear their performances, so front of house engineers started to turn one of the main speakers back towards the stage, and thus the stage monitor was born. Today's stage monitors are typically wedge-shaped speakers or wedges placed at the front of the stage aimed towards the performers. While functional, they provide a less than ideal solution for musicians who need to hear what is happening. Personal monitoring systems, like Shure's PSM, were developed to help performers overcome the various challenges associated with onstage monitoring. But what exactly is a PSM? A PSM takes an individual's monitor mix and puts it directly into the ears of that performer without affecting the performance or listening conditions of others on stage or in the audience. There are many factors that make personal monitoring systems a superior choice for performers. Instruments, like a guitar and bass, are usually amplified before they even hit the signal chain, and drums are naturally loud without any amplification at all. Competing with this stage volume can often be an almost insurmountable challenge for singers. By using PSMs, performers are isolated from the stage volume by using professional sound isolating earphones. This allows the musicians to achieve an almost studio-like listening experience. Feedback occurs when the amplified sound from a microphone enters that same microphone and is amplified again, thus causing a feedback loop. It's easy to see how this can quickly become a problem when using wedges, but with a PSM, the loudspeakers are inside of your ears and isolated from the microphone, thus reducing the potential for a feedback loop. Another benefit to PSMs is that when they're used properly, they can help lower listening levels, which is better for your hearing health. The longer you are exposed to extremely high sound pressure levels, the more your hearing is likely to deteriorate. But a PSM with sound isolating earphones allows performers to block out noisy stage volumes and put the monitoring level in their own hands. Also, most singers who try to compensate for the increased stage volume with wedges tend to sing with more force than is normal or healthy. This can quickly lead to vocal strain. Because PSMs put the singer's voice right into their ears, isolating them from the stage volume, they don't have to push as much in order to hear themselves. A unique benefit of PSMs is how they assist the front of house engineer. Fighting the volumes of loud amplifiers is already hard enough. Add in a row of wedges also at high volume levels, and your engineer may lose control of the mix. By reducing stage volumes, PSMs alleviate this struggle for many engineers. Wedges are cumbersome and heavy, so if you're carrying around three or four of them, it can add up to a backache at every load-in. PSMs can easily be packed in a gig bag or rack case and take up much less precious cargo space. Wedges have a sweet spot. If you step more than a few feet away from your stage monitor, you won't be able to hear your mix anymore. But with a wireless PSM, the mix follows you wherever you go on stage. Sure PSMs give you direct control over your own mix with mix mode. While a monitor engineer will still be needed to make adjustments and fine tune the mix, the performer now has control for overall volume, and in some cases, the ability to pan or even choose another mix entirely. As you can see, PSMs have great advantages over traditional floor wedge monitors. In part two of this video series, we'll walk you through how to find a PSM that works best for you.